Okay, so why is ambiance so important? Okay, and I'll be just quite frank with you. Without ambiance, you end up picking up with just basically a look. And a look, to me, doesn't really incorporate the depth of your personality and character and other things of that nature. It's rather superficial, if I can say it that way. Um, and it doesn't, I think, express the true treasure that's in an individual. Because how many people, when they're young and have big dreams, big aspirations about things, and then how does that change over time when people become adults? <coughs> Isn't it true that anybody have kids here? Okay, little kids have big dreams, and then I could say that big kids have little dreams, typically speaking, right? Unless you've got somebody like Michael Dell or Bill Gates. But typically, you know, we don't. Okay, so why do so few people have ambiance? And can you still hear me good in the back? Are you okay? okay. All right, the number one is they try to follow a trend or a fad. Now those things come and go. So it's very easy to get locked into, after a time, get locked into a time warp, okay? It, 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 a time capsule. And so it doesn't, it can get outdated at, at, to a certain point. And quite frankly, a lot of things that are perpetuated out there in the industry and furniture, or even in fashion and clothing, the idea for the constant change is to keep up the selling. Nothing wrong with that, but it's to, to make you in a, a continual, state of dissatisfaction. But everybody knows that there are certain things, colors that you look best in, certain cuts of clothing that you look best in, and if that doesn't happen to be the fad, then where are you? Okay. I think there's enough diversity out there in the world today that it really doesn't matter and only one can look outside and see the beauty of nature and does that, I mean it goes in seasons, summer, winter, fall, spring, but is there a fad for this color of, you know, that red rose is in this year and Five years is really not in, you know. Isn't it interesting to kind of contemplate that? Okay, or people try to, to take what they've seen in magazines and without really a full understanding of how does this mesh with my personality? How does this mesh with where I live geographically? How does this mesh with my architecture, the type of home that I have? So, uh, you know, kind of knowing yourself is an important step. Uh, and that brings up the next point people don't take the time to really understand who they are. Um, or they listen to other people, friends, family, neighbors, who really do not have a vested interest. They have an opinion, but you know, unless they're paying for it, you know, how much creeps do you want to give to it? Or how much do they really know? You know, on a level of one to 10. Um, and do they really understand the process of design? And there is a process to design. Just like there's a process to a doctor. You go to a doctor, he has a process for asking you the right questions and finding out about your taking tests. There's a process an attorney goes through, you know, to, to do, do the proper discovery work in order to represent you correctly. Um, Sherlock Holmes had a process 